Hello and welcome back. So today we're going to do a bit of sanding down on the uh, on the lawnmower. Now it doesn't really want a lot of sanding down. Literally when it was painted, it was just painted straight onto the cast iron. Um, so we're going to pretty much copy it to be fair. What the, you know how it was originally done really. Um, so let me show you. So we're using the, uh, the car sand, the bodywork sander. But so this is all cast iron, and to be fair, look, it's never really been painted, so it just wants a light rubbing over and really then it's ready to go. Same with this, really. At the minute, I'm going to paint in between here, try and spray it in between here through the gap, um, because at the minute, I'm, I don't know about this. And nobody really knows without sort of damaging it, and I don't want to. I don't want to break it really. And then I've got to rub down this panel here, make sure we get all the old sticker off. And then I've got to rub off the grass bars, so and then this piece here. So I'm gonna try and paint literally all these green parts in one hit first. Uh, I'm gonna do this green as well, like it was there. But literally we're gonna try and paint all the green bits first, because as soon as I get the green bits done and it dries, I can start putting this part of the mower back together again. Then I want to paint the red parts, because then literally this, this whole piece can go back together again. Then it's just literally the engine, which is the orange and the grey. It's the orange and the grey and the handlebars. And then it's not too bad, but like I said, I just want to get, want to get all this part put back together again. All these little bits here. I mean, it's not bad then. So uh, let's see how we get on today. So literally I've just lightly gone over these with this sander. I mean, they're not that, they're not that bad really, to be fair. I mean, this has never been painted. This is all original. You can see the original sticker is. Basically, I'm just gonna rub. This is probably the worst bit out of all of it. So we're just gonna, oh, hang on. Smooth anyway. Um, yeah. Just doing the grass box now. So this is all going to be gone. We've got a new one to put on here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get it sanded down. So that's pretty much it rubbed down. It just wants a blasting off with the air compressor to get all the loose dirt and that off. But yeah, better. Like I say, I'm not going mad mad because I'm actually going to use this lawnmower when I'm done. It's not going to just sit in the garage like as an ornament sort of thing. It is going to be used, so I don't want to go mental with it. So there's the paint. Um, I've just mixed a little bit up in it. it. Might be enough to pretty much do the entire thing. <laughs> I've got it nice and thin. I'm not an expert at this, so bear with me. And I've got a little spray gun, so we're going to have a go at just painting the back edge of this first, because it's not seen if it don't go very well. <laughs> right, so let's have a look. So it's a, a very nice shade of green. Um, so yeah, if it all comes out like that, it's going to look really good. So we're getting on all right, considering. Um, it's a lot better, look at that. Yeah, so it's not going too bad. Like I say, I haven't took that, it's got one of them stupid pins in, like on that thing there, and I don't want to pull them out and break them, so I've just sort of taped up the end, painted it green, then I'll do the other side and I'll do it red. I don't want to damage it, take it apart. Um, that piece there was red originally, but someone on there said it was supposed to be green, so they were right, so thanks for that. <laughs> um, I've just got to paint the edge of this side here green. I might do it while I've got the paint out. Uh, I've just got to paint that bit green. Um, but yeah. It'll look alright when it's all put back together again. So I'm actually going to paint the grass box. I've just got to wipe it off and clean it up a bit before I paint it, but it'll look alright. So um, it's not worth getting all the dents out of everything for because um, literally I'm going to be using this mower. Um, part of the reason I haven't undercoated it because if you scratch it, you're just going to see the grey coming through. And to be fair, it hadn't been uh, primed when it was painted from new. It had just been painted straight on the metal, so it just pretty much did the same. Um, so at least if it, if when you cut the lawn, if you just scratch it, it's green on the other side, sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, so what I'm hoping to do today, if I can get that painted red, and I can get the little blade bit painted red, I think I'm doing really, really well. So, there's the red. Now these parts have been painted by hand at some point, with a brush. 
So um, I've tried to get most of the, you know, the, the the lumpy bits off where someone's been with the paintbrush and left a bit too much on. So we'll just have to see how we get on. But like I say, it would look a lot better with just a coat of paint on top. I'm quite glad, by the way, that you all said the rear roller is green. Um, mostly because I've painted it green, so that's really... Um, there we go, there we go. I'm actually going to try and paint this orange today, the petrol tank and the handlebars. Because then that's the last of all the major spraying, you know. Uh, and then all I've got is the engine block, which needs degreasing and all that anyway. Um, but then I can sort of get half it back together again. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's going all right, I think, considering. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> So you can see the difference in colour. Look at that. It'll look completely different when I paint it, but for some reason everyone always paints this red and the handlebars. And look, that is not red, that's red, that's orange. Yeah? So luckily we've got the right orange because I have this um, I've got the right colour. So we're just gonna rub this down and we're gonna try and spray this, the handlebars, um, and uh, there's something else. Ah, petrol tank. Right, so we're going to see if we can get all these done today, and then that's all the major spraying done. And then it's just put it back together again, and clean the engine block up and paint that, and then, uh, yeah, and we can have a go with it, see if it cuts the lawn right. It did before, so I'm hoping it still does. So, that's all painted. Um, literally, we're going to start putting it back together again now. So, we're going to try and get all this part back together again. Um... And like I say, once this piece of it is all back, oh, there's that bit. Oh. Not too bothered about scratching this bit, really. It's going to be scratched anyway. But um, yeah, we want to get as much of it back together again as possible. And then we can start on the actual engine then. Um, so yeah, hopefully next, uh, next couple of days I'll get the whole thing done. Well, I've actually got a little bit carried away. Um, so I'll show you what I've done. And I've got the sticker on. That is really good quality as well, that sticker. I have to be honest, I'm quite impressed with that. Um, I've got the roller on, and I've pretty much got all the chains back on. I've got it all sort of back together again. Even the handlebars are looking nice orange. Um, so, I'd like to say, normally I've never really painted things without priming them, but to be fair, it doesn't look too bad. And, uh, the thing is, if you scratch it, you're not gonna get the gray coming through. That's the thing, because it's gonna actually get used. So, well, there don't seem to have been any primer on it when I got it, to be fair. It seemed to just be painted straight on, straight on sort of thing. But, um, but yeah, so there's another sticker to go on just there. Let me show you my, uh, I've done the fuel tank and the engine sort of casing, there we go. I've put the plate back on, there's the fuel tank. I'm actually quite impressed with that, I'm quite happy. I know it needs a brass tap, but uh, we haven't got one at the minute. So like I say, the next thing we'll be doing is the uh, the engine itself in a nice gray. Um, and I've got some oil there for it as well. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's not coming out too bad to be fair, considering. <laughs> I've never actually done one of these before, but I couldn't help put the sticker on. I think that does look good, let's say. We're getting there, and I think that's going to look good. I've not really done much painting, so it seems to look all right. Like I say, it's going to spend most of his life sat in here, to be fair, so it's not going to rust away, rust away very quick. But yeah, good. All right, so I've got carried away and I've put the other one on. So yeah, I think that's looking good. Um, so yeah. Just want to say thanks to Shane for the video saying how to get that pin out uh, of the roller. I didn't need to take it out in the end though, luckily. Um, but thanks anyway, it's handy to know for next time. Because um, that did stump me that day. I kept tapping it and it wouldn't come out. And yeah, I see you with a punch, whack it, and it comes straight out. So that's probably what I was doing wrong. I have to get myself a punch for next time. Um, uh, another big thanks to Smokey as well uh, for a bit of advice on it. Um, I'm quite glad you said the roller should have been green because I'd already painted it. So uh, that was <laughs> so I was quite relieved when I read that comment. That I'd, luckily, luckily I'd got I'd already done it. Um, 
So yeah, that's it from this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, next one will be getting the engine finished off. I've got new clutches to put in as well. Uh, what else? And we'll probably see if we can fire it up and get it running. All right, so that'd be quite interesting. Um, and then we'll do a video after that of actually cutting the lawn. Yeah, so that's going to be interesting. <laughs> so until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all very soon with a new video.